Hey, third grade. I hope you guys had a really nice Memorial Day uh, long weekend. Hopefully you got a little extra time to rest or if you were behind work, you had some time to catch up. Um, this is going to be our last geometry lesson. You guys have a post-assessment test to take this week on your geometry skills. I'm excited to see how much you've learned since you took the pre-assessment at the beginning of the unit. Um, and then we are going to just spend our very last week in June doing some review on things like multiplication, things we've already done. Okay, so um, you should be on student book page 213. And you'll notice that these little geo boards look like um, what you used with the virtual manipulatives online. Remember, I sent you that app. You could go on the website and you could stretch those rubber bands and make different shapes. So for these little geo boards here, all we're doing is we're trying to break them in half, right? We want to show different ways that we can split these into half. And we know that a half is a fraction, right? One over two. Half is exactly one half of the whole, right? It's one part when a number shape or set is divided exactly into two equal parts. They have to be equal. So for example, I could not uh, draw a line like this and say that these are two equal halves, right? Because look, this piece is so much smaller than this piece. So I would think for my first line, you guys are probably thinking the same thing, I could draw a line right down the middle, right? You can go ahead and draw a line with a marker, crayon, pencil, whatever you have. Let's draw a line right down the middle, connect those dots, right? And now we have two equal halves. Where else, how else could we draw a line or like basically we're drawing a rubber band to show how we could cut this in half. Maybe we could do it this way, right? Great, hopefully you already thought of that. Any other ways? Is there anything else we could do for this to be equal in half? How about diagonal like that, right? This is the same size, two equal halves right here. Is there a way we could do something like this, but just a little different? Maybe we could do it this way. Oop, that was a squiggly line, sorry. If we draw a line right down the middle, then we have two equal halves this way. Right, is there anything else we can do? There definitely is. So there's actually a lot of ways that we can uh, cut these geo boards into half. If we look at the area, we can see um, that they're equal parts. And I'll show you here, look, these guys did like the same thing that we did. And then they have these crazy shapes too, where you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight little squares of area here. And if I count over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight squares of area over here. So you can draw that, those lines, whoops. You can go ahead and draw those lines too. We're gonna go down like that, like this, and like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm imagining that there's like little squares, right, in between all these dots. That's what I'm imagining. That's how I'm counting the eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if I drew little squares over here, it would be the same thing. If you want to connect all the dots to draw the squares, you can. If that helps you, that's totally fine. Okay. All right, I'm gonna erase those so, so it's not confusing. And uh, let's go back and look again at something else from the answer key. We have this one, almost looks like stairs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It still has the same area. Let's see if we can draw that one. It was like, oh, let's see if I can do it. Like that. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Good job. You should be drawing these lines with me. Oh, they did the same thing over here. They just flipped it. 
See if we can do that. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Broke it in half again. You can go ahead and take some time. You can pause the video and see these other ways that they broke it in half. Those marked with a little star um, are showing non congruent tabs. Um, so they are not uh, the same on each side. They don't look the same on each side, but they are actually still the amount of area if you count, which is great. Okay, so you can pause the video, go ahead and finish drawing. All right, so we are going to uh, move on to page 215. So what we're doing with geometry uh, this week, if you haven't already noticed, is we're using what we know about fractions now with shapes, right? We did fractions a few months ago. So here's an example for us. They have this circle cut into four parts and they shaded in one fourth. So for this letter A, they want us to shade in one third of this circle. How would you do that? Go ahead and color in one third. What would that look like? Probably would look like this, right? Or maybe I do this one. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which third I color in but I'm only coloring in one out of the three. Only coloring in one out of the three. How about down here, two thirds, how much do I color in? I'm gonna color in two out of the three. Right? You guys are remembering your fractions, I hope? I'm gonna color in two out of the three. You need to pause the video because you need more time together, go ahead. How about this one, what am I gonna color in? One out of five, one fifth. I'm going to color that one in. And it doesn't matter. I don't have to color that one in. I could color in this one over here. Still just showing me one fifth. One out of five is colored. And how about here? Two tenths. What's two tenths going to look like? Ooh, that's messy. You're probably doing a much better job than me coloring in the lines. Two tenths. And what about two out of five? two out of five gonna look like. Okay, so if you need to pause the video and finish coloring, go ahead. Okay. Okay, that's showing me two out of five. So down here, we're gonna look at the fractions that we shaded in and above, and we're gonna use them to help us complete each number sentence by writing less than, greater than, or equal to. And we've practiced with this before. We, this is comparing fractions. We did this a couple months ago. So they're showing you here that one third is more than one fifth. One third is more than one fifth. And you can see that here. This piece is a lot bigger than this piece, right? Maybe it helps if I put this one at the bottom as well. If I show you here, you can see that one third is bigger than one fifth. So they're showing you it's greater than, right? the mouth of the alligator is trying to eat the one-third because one-third is bigger. The alligator is always super hungry. One-third is bigger than the one-fifth, right? He wants a bigger piece of the pizza, a bigger piece of the cake. Um, all right, how about two-fifths and two-thirds? Which do you think is gonna be bigger? Two-fifths or two-thirds? I actually have a um, fraction app here that I will show you guys. How many parts? Two-thirds. And how many parts? Fifths. Okay. I'll put a link to this app so you guys can use it. Let's use purple. We are comparing, let's see, what are we comparing? We're comparing two fifths and two thirds. Two fifths and two thirds. Let's move this over here so it matches. Which is bigger? Two fifths or two thirds? Which looks like more to you? What do you think? You can drag it and it's really cool because it, look, it shows you. Two fifths is definitely more, right? I can even move it like this, which is super cool. And if I line it up, I can see that two fifths is more. Sorry, two thirds is more, right? See how that overlaps? Two thirds is much bigger. Two thirds is much bigger. So here on my page, I'm going to say, Two thirds. The alligator wants to eat the two thirds. It's much bigger. How about two thirds or two tenths? We have my two thirds. Let's just delete this one. Two thirds or two tenths. 
Whoa, that's lots of pieces. Let's do green this time. Which is bigger? Two thirds or two tenths? Definitely two thirds, right? Definitely two thirds. We draw a line over here. We draw our two little lines to make our mouth. Wants to eat the two thirds. It's much bigger. Which is bigger? Two tenths or one fifth? Two tenths or one fifth? Two tenths? Or one fifth. Make it blue. Hmm. <gasps> Check that out. If we drag it over, we see that they match up perfectly. There's no overlap, right? It like disappears. Two tenths and one fifth are equal. Two tenths and one fifth are equal. Good job. How about two fifths and two tenths? Two fifths and two tenths. Which is bigger? Two fifths is way bigger, right? Two fifths, way bigger. Oops. Two fifths. One fourth and two tenths. One fourth and two tenths. Red, one fourth, two tenths, which is bigger. Here I can go. Ooh, look, one fourth is just a little bit bigger. There's like a little slice there that's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, right? One fourth is a little bigger. Nice. And here's a challenge we have. 1 18th versus 1 9. What I would love for you to do is pause the video in just a second. I want you to pull up that link that I have for you online. Okay. And I want you to use these little guys here to, um, here, let me clear my board. I want you to use these guys here to, to figure out the challenge question. I do want you to do the challenge question. Oops. I think I just like this out of it. Um, but you have page 215 in front of you. So while I pull this up, I want you to go ahead and try to figure out the challenge question using these guys right here. Okay, hopefully you spent some time figuring that out. 1 18th versus 1 9th, 2 18th versus 1 9th, 1 9th versus 2 20th and show you the answers here. Should have been that 1 9th is bigger. These are equal to each other and 1 9th is bigger. Okay, awesome. All right, I would actually like for you guys um, to move on to page 217. This is very similar to the page we just did except for their squares, okay, instead of circles. And you need to draw lines to cut up these squares. So two fourths, you're gonna draw um, lines like this, right? Lines like this, you need to color in three fourths. You'll color it in, you guys know how to do this. This one needs to be in thirds, wow. So for thirds, I'd probably go like this and then color in two thirds, eight, what I would do like this and eights. Okay, go ahead and color in the fractions that you need to do. Pause the video and color them in. Why don't you do this by yourself? I think you should be done with that. You should not be copying, you should already be done. I'll show you the answers. It should look like this two fourths, three fourths, two thirds, four eighths, and six eighths. And you know what I noticed about four eighths? It is equal to two fourths. Look, you colored in exactly half the square. Two fourths and four eighths are equal to each other. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do this on your own now. You can use these fractions to help you. 
Okay. Um, you can even, if you don't want to use circles this time, you can even use um, these little rectangles. Okay. You can use these little rectangles, color them in, do whatever you need to do to make it helpful for yourself. Okay. To be able to compare these fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on your own. Remember, it is trying to eat the biggest fraction. So pause the video while you're working on this. Okay, so you should be done with that. I hope you guys did really well. I'm gonna show you the answers and if you made any mistakes, just erase, just erase your answers and fix it, okay? Three fourths is bigger, six eighths is bigger, two fourths and four eighths are equal to each other. I said that a minute ago. One fourth is bigger, two fourths is bigger. And then the challenge questions, one eighth is bigger, five sixteenths is bigger, and then two fourths and eight sixteenths are equal to each other because two fourths is exactly half and eight sixteenths is exactly half, right? Eight is half of 16. Two is half of four. Two times two is four. Eight times two is 16. Alrighty, great job, you guys. Um, I hope that you are feeling good about fractions and geometry. And I'm really excited to see how you do on your test. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks for joining me.